Hey guys, uh, Paul again. Um, back with the billet head. Um, it's been a long, long time since I originally made the first version of this video, just talking about it. I don't know if I'm editing in with that, but uh, this is a, uh, a, a billet head for a GX390. Um, <clears throat> what happened was it originally dropped one of its valves. The valve um, had bounced around. I think it was the exhaust valve. It had broke the head off. Piston came up, stuffed the exhaust valve. Uh, back down into the port um, Intake valve was also bent. It wasn't broken. The head wasn't broken off, but it was sitting there tilted jammed in the guides were both broken split down the sides Even the retainers the titanium retainers were literally cracked in half from this uh, And the the chamber <clears throat> got damaged the seats got damaged. So um, It's been a while what <clears throat> what came out of this I just took the seats out now um, so these are the seats that came out. As you can see, they're just stock, regular old chromoly seats. <clears throat> uh, now, with titanium valves, um, you definitely want to be running, you know, either Molsar or Copper William seats, something like that. So, <clears throat> getting a seat with this OD, this intake seat has a massive OD. And uh, anything over 1.75 inches, the bar stock for that size seat, you know, they to make the seat comes in a big rod. And uh, they chop a little piece off it and make a seat. So the bar stock has to be, you know, big. Uh, and, you know, over 1.75, the, the prices just go crazy for the bar stock. So I ended up getting some for the customer. Um, reached out to a company. They ended up making some custom seats for this. Um... So I did get the seats in, so uh, and I did have some custom guides made, uh, shipped the guides out. So uh, they made some new guides, got some new seats, got the new uh, titanium valves. Uh, so now it's going to come down to uh, seeing if we can uh, grind out, reshape this chamber, uh, put in the seats, put in the guides, reinstall the valves, etc., etc., down the line. So uh, this is the next step. Just cut out the valves. Uh, now I got to grind out all this damaged material in the chamber. Um, then uh, onto the mill. Cut some new counterboards for the seats. Obviously the seats have to be a little bit bigger. Um, the impact in the seat, you can't tell from when, I, when the seats, I was just looking at this hole, but this hole is now egg shaped. Ever so slightly. And if you were going to try to re reinstall the exact same valve seat, it would just fall right out. Um, they're held in by a crush. And uh, this was actually dented. And uh, the reason I know that is because even when the valve seat was still in, I could see this lip underneath. Um, the, the impact of the, the valve head hitting the top surface of this valve came down and bent this valve and stuffed it over and uh, oval shaped the seat. So we're going to have to install some uh, slightly larger OD seats so we can come in and cut a new true counterbore for the seat. Uh, with the correct crush, put the new seats in. So we're going to go through all that. Um, get this head hopefully back together and back to the customer. So just a little bit more video on this project. It's been a while. Probably edit it all in. It'll probably seem just like one little quick video to you. But uh, next uh, we'll go in here and we'll uh, clean up the uh, chamber in this cylinder head. Alright, next time.